Welcome! In this video we'll carry on explaining how to make change stick. After all this hard work, uh, communicating change, implementing change, going through uh, the issues of resistance, sponsors, politics, etc. Well, you don't want actually all your hard work to end up in nothing. So it's important to put in place some measures that are going to allow you to uh, make change successful. Statistics actually reveals that 70% of change management initiatives are actually unsuccessful. Change management is a very difficult process, it's very complex, but it's not impossible to manage it successfully. And actually over this, the course of these videos we have uh, assessed the, the most important elements that you have to consider when dealing with change management. Uh, in particular with regards to a uh, major uh, change stick, the uh, key element is performance management. Uh, I said in my previous video that this is not the carrot and stick approach, but basically it's uh, um, reinforcing what is required uh, by the employees uh, in order to move to the next stage. When employees actually do not believe that uh, change is required, so basically if uh, their level of uh, gain is inferior to the level of pain to go through the change management, actually they don't have any kind of motivation to change. If with your formal performance management actually you're going to reward behaviors, whether financially or non-financially, that are consistent with the change management initiative, it's very likely that they will have a shift. So basically their level of pain all of a sudden will be lower than the level of gain. When actually you have the gain that is higher than the pain, that's when the employee will have the motivation to change. Of course, not everyone moves at the same pace. Some people will struggle to change, but it's very, very important to align your performance management system to the new behaviors that are required in order to make change stick and also promote the new kind of behaviors. However, the performance management, the formal one, is just one of the aspects because what is very important is also the informal uh, performance management. It's actually the reinforcement that managers are going to give to their employees on a day-to-day -day basis. If, for example, a manager um, stated during the change management initiative that this is fantastic because A, B and C during the formal announcement but then you know in the office was like I think that this is not gonna work it's just a waste of time well this is not gonna work very well so you actually have to make sure that also the uh, senior managers and the line managers and the supervisors are aligned with the change and they actually are in a position to reinforce uh, the message uh, informally in their day-to-day -day activities. Because if uh, the reinforcement is provided, for example, to Sheila or to Luke, because they are actually um, behaving in compliance with the new behavior, well, the message will be very, very clear. If you behave in a certain way, actually, you are going in the right direction. And that will be, will be reinforced subs subsequently with the formal performance management and therefore with reward, which in most cases is uh, money and bonuses, but of course it can be also in terms of promotions, uh, in terms of recognition and so on. So it's important to maintain this balance between formal and informal performance management and to be consistent uh, during the change, but also after basically the uh, change management project uh, has uh, formally finished because basically it will carry on up to when there will be a new change management initiative that will require a different change. It's very important to understand that uh, um, employees don't necessarily have to agree with the change management initiative. The important thing is that they understand the reasons why the company is going through it and the fact that it's not a capricious uh, you know, thing. So like the CEO woke up one morning and said, mm, today I'm going basically to restructure the company and basically it will end up in a dismissal of 20% of the workforce. No, the important thing is basically to make the employees understand the reason why that specific change management initiative is required and why that specific uh, uh, change management initiative is required now. If they understand the importance of change 
and in that specific situation, the employees will be more prone to go along with it, even if they don't agree. So for example, they may say, well, you know what, I think that the old software was perfectly okay, but actually I understand that, for example, the competitors are you know, coming up and basically if we don't change uh, pretty soon, in six months time we will basically lose market share and very likely lots of uh, the employees will lose their job. So they may not agree in the fact that the company wants to implement the new software, but because they will understand the reason behind it and actually the urgency, so the fact that it will have severe repercussion in the short and medium terms, is more likely that they are going to buy in into the change and basically adopt the behavior that is required by the new course of action. Thank you so much for watching.